Hey now Virgo, this is Jenna Flower doing a, a nice check-in reading for you here. Um, I asked for actually five cards and I got six, seven, got eight. So um, let's dive into this. I'm getting a lot of different energies here and I'm being called to tell you, um, you know, we've got the Queen of Cups energy. I feel like you guys have really done a lot of work. You've actually stepped out into the unknown with this cup of love. And some of you really might have felt um, like rejected, abandoned, or um, not had a good response. Whether you might have even externally, people might have been really nice, but you felt weird about it, right? And Spirit wants you to understand that it's just a period of growth. I think you're seeking clarity here. They're asking you to tune back in and do the work, right? To really sit down and ask yourself, like, what is going on here? Some of you, I feel like you kind of could have been closed off and somebody has been offering you this cup of love and you're asking for this clarity. And what they're, what I, again, what I'm being told is that you need to kind of be still within yourself and really look at what's happening here. This is your challenge, okay? Because you don't, you don't want to repeat the same cycle. Okay, and I feel like you're kind of on the tipping point of really getting this major clarity. This was given to you as an opportunity to do just that. Okay, so I feel like, again, I, I just keep, I'm looking at like a seesaw, a teetering, and I'm, I'm seeing like the, the inner mechanism that, you know, that holds it up where people go up and down, right? Like you're kind of teetering, like, do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? Do I want to stay in familiar territory? Do I want to recognize my growth? And do I want to take the next step here? Okay. And um, I see you moving forward here. I feel like you are going to make the decision that is best for you. Okay. Some of you might want to go back and repeat that. Maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe you need to have a conversation with somebody in your past, but the tower moment itself is over. Okay. I feel like you understand exactly what I'm saying to you. I feel like you are going to be calling judgment here. For some of you, this had to do with a marriage. Uh, this might be, like I was saying in the first place, that somebody, you know, you could have stepped out of your comfort zone and you might have met somebody new. For some of you, this could lead to marriage. But they want you to know the residual effect here, like this, this challenge for you is to not repeat the same things because this has been given to you as a soul growth here okay um i also have this eight of wands in reverse and i have this five of swords in reverse okay i feel like you guys have been kind of denying yourself something here okay you've been denying yourself something I feel like there have been people that have been reaching out to you and you're like, no, I don't want to go back there again. Or, you know, it could have been different people, but you felt that same energy. You recognize that. For some of you, you have, this is kind of freaking you out and you're shutting off from the world. This could be a good thing and you're shutting off from the world. There's a couple different scenarios. So please take the one that resonates and leave the rest for others, right? All who wander are not lost. Some of you are really trying to figure out what you want and what you don't want. Sometimes if you figure out what you don't want, like sit down literally and make a list of things you don't want. And then all of a sudden your brain starts to go, okay, well, if I don't want this, what do I want? Oh, I want this. Or start the opposite way. It's important to know both, right? Okay. I see you guys moving forward. This is a growth process. This is action. I see you getting the clarity that you need here okay know that that clarity is coming in you're going to move forward in a place of balance uh, some of you might have a water sign that is going to be helping you do this oh wait i pulled up another deck and i feel like i should be pulling a shaman card for you um I'm getting like confusion and I think it's a lot of it has to do with your emotional. This is an emotional reaction uh, to something that's happening with you or somebody around you. Some of you either are dealing with a burden, like this is the burden that you need to let down. Notice it's the number 10. Notice it's the number of harvest, like you're done doing this. 
you are done doing this. So be careful as you move forward. Don't take that bait again. Don't repeat. I just keep hearing peat and repeat, peat and repeat. Yes, it's all good. Everything's going to be fine no matter what decision you make. But just know that you have the opportunity here to level up and not repeat. And it has to do with your perception and how you deal with the situation. If the same energy presents itself, are you going to react and act the same way and expect a different outcome? That doesn't work, right? Yeah, you're not seeing that it's time to release something here. Okay? Some of you... Um, or maybe somebody around you is trying to keep you bound to something. Even if it's just a mindset. Maybe it's people you hang out with, right? Like they're trying to, like, what's the matter with you? We used to do this. We used to do that. You're no fun anymore. Stuff like that, okay? Your period of growth is over here. Don't take that bait. You're birthing a new world here, okay? You will see everything that you need if you get through this you're going to see things from a completely different perspective it's because you're sitting in that place of making this decision that things that aren't clear all right so move forward and be mindful we've got sun and moon to balance here be mindful of your emotions be mindful of what your body feels in that situation or around those people or when you're thinking about that stuff right Okay, because otherwise this is going to hang you up. Okay, trust. I trust my life and my strengths. I trust life and my strengths. Each moment guides me, okay, to the light. Everything on my path is placed there for my growth. Okay, that yellow is solar plexus confidence the orange is sacral and the red is root so grounding okay grounding is a really really good place to be we also have the calm i breathe live and grow the light within me i do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment that's really important okay i cast off all my doubts all my fears dissipate and i find peace in my being all right, what a beautiful card. Okay. And when you do that, your perspective changes and you start to see from a higher perspective and you start to see those patterns and you start to see the energy for what it is. And you say, okay, do I want this or do I not want this? You've got kindred spirits, spirit companions, guides, and comfort. Every, you know, it's it's all right there for you if you take the moment to see it. Yep, fall in love with the mystery again. Okay, you are protected. I'm hearing you are protected while you're going through this, if you don't know that. And I'm also getting transform and unveil your gifts. So it's about trusting yourself too. Notice the wolf and, right, the inner wolf. Okay, like unleash the wild within the inner wolf is cloaked in the wings, right? You are definitely being protected and guided here. So be true to yourself is what the message is. So you can claim it. I will be true to myself as I flow into my abundance. That's what I would say to claim. I will be gentle with myself as I flow into my abundance. There you go. I will be true to myself. I will be gentle to myself as I flow into my abundance. All right. Hey, if this has been helpful, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Take good care of yourself. Take care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.